Hey, what's going on, Gemini's? Um, Butch Tarot here. Gonna do your one month read for November 2019. Um, it, it's a general read, so it won't resonate with everybody. But feel free to to um, refer to your charts, your sun, moon, and your rising. Um, and after I finish my monthlies, I'll be back to weeklies again. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And always feel free to comment down below. So let's get right into it. Let's see what the universe has for Gemini's. Universe, what do Gemini's need to know? What do they need to see? What should they be aware of? What's coming towards them? Okay, Gemini's. So the first thing I have here is you've been in your head. You've been very defensive. Um, you've been pushing something away, um, blocking yourself off from it. Um, you know, you, you, you're keeping to yourself and you're pushing away any opportunity that I feel like there is somebody that's been around and that's been trying to get with you know trying to show interest in you trying to show you how much interest they do have in you um but you're not letting that in because you're in your head trying to decide what it is that you want where you want yourself to go um and you've been working hard at this you've been putting in all the work to keep this person out because you're just not ready um you, you didn't feel i mean i i feel like there is a connection with this person um, but you're not seeing it because you're trying to fight it because you don't want to, you know, you're not sure if this is the right path for you. I feel like you, you're just in your head about it too much here. Um, you're being very defensive. You put in a lot of work to keep yourself and, you know, your walls up. Um, this person is really chipping away. I feel like I feel like it's just a matter of you don't want to be hurt again. But I don't feel like that's the case here. I feel like this person, you know, only good things has come with this person. This person is very genuine with the Ace of Cups. Um, I see, you know, some new forward movement here. So I feel like you are going to let this person in. This person is going to crack through the walls. Um, you know, I just feel like you're not seeing what's right in front of you. I feel like there is a lot of, like, this person has a lot of good coming your way. Um, and I don't feel like this person is going to hurt you. So don't be worried. Don't, don't let this, don't let past pains affect your future. Um, I feel like it's right in front of you and you're not seeing it. Like I said, there's a new offer. This person has made you an offer and I feel like you're going to move forward with that. Um, don't allow your mind to burden your heart. I feel like it's holding you back. I feel like any past hurts is holding you from moving forward and it's being a burden on you and I feel like that needs to, that that cycle needs to end. Um I feel like this person you know will fill your cups. They want to. And what else I got here is I also got the Gemini card, which is a lovers, which could be a soulmate, but I have the two of cups as well. I feel like you like I said you are going to take this offer. And when the Gemini card and the Two of Cups tells me together, when they come together, this could this could po very possibly be a twin flame. This person wants to, you know, wants to be your better half. They want to help you see that there is a better side. That it doesn't always have to end in you getting hurt. Um, I feel like you've been in some bad relationships. Like I said, that's why you're being defensive. That's why you're in your head. That's why you have your walls up. But I feel like this person is going to chip away. And like I said, you, I feel like this is a, this, this is, a, is a really good opportunity. Like it's, once, like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and you're missing it because you're, you're worried about that. But I only see good things come with this person. Um, 
like I said, I see some new motivation. I feel like this person is going to come to you and, and is really going to show you something that you, they're, they're going to make, they're going to fulfill you. They're going to fill your cups up. They're going to show you that, you know, there is a good side of love. And like I said, they're going to make that offer. And I feel like you will accept that offer. And then I got the, you know, the Gemini. So I, I this is this is definitely, and I don't say this very often, but this is definitely a twin flame. This person is is bringing a lot of forward movement for you, and is going to leave you very happy. Um, and I feel like not only is it just going to be a great, great relationship, a really strong connection. Um, I do see it moving forward. I do see it becoming a union of some sort. I feel like you, you know, moving in together, um, possibly marriage in the future. And I also see the family card. So I feel like the, you passing up this, this opportunity would be a huge mistake. This person is trying to break down your walls. And I know that, like, I get the feeling from these cards that you put that wall up to save yourself from, 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 from any kind of pain. Um, being very defensive, being very guarded. Um, and you're in your head a lot. Sometimes we just, and like I said, you got the walls up. But you're not seeing what's right in front of you. This person is going to fill your cups. This, kind of, this person is going to fulfill what you want. This person is going to make you feel like you're the best thing going. That's what they want. And like I said, only good things are coming from this. But you need to allow those walls, you know, you need to allow them to the walls because they're burdening you. They're not good for you. They were, they helped, they kept a lot of bad people out, but now it's a burden. So you need to allow that, that wall to come down a little bit. Allow this person in because, like I said, it, it's, I feel like they, they're going to keep coming at you until you give them a chance. And... We have Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Gemini card. So this is definitely a Twin Flame. And it's definitely something that's going to manifest into something something more. Um, something serious. Um, usually the, the Hierophant is either marriage or some kind of union like moving in together. Or, you know, just something really serious. And we also have the Ten, ten of Cups. So that's a family card. So I feel like if you allow your walls, if you allow this person to get inside your walls, there's nothing to regret here. I see only good things allowing this person in. Um, you know, I feel like this person has been trying for a while. That's why I get the two of swords. Like something that's been in front of you all this time, but you're not seeing it. Um, so my advice to you is don't always um, put old people's garbage on new people and what I mean by that is sometimes we get hurt and then we put these walls up because we don't want that again because pain from especially from a relationship from somebody that you really cared about is is hard and I feel like that had happened to you in the past um so instead of having that feeling again you just kind of let you know you put those walls up and didn't let anybody in emotionally um because in your head and in a lot of people's heads, when this, when when we get hurt and we put up those walls, it's because we don't we don't want to allow anybody into that space again because we're we're afraid of what's going to happen, what they're going to allow. But I feel like this connection is too strong for you to hold back anymore. Like I said, I feel like they are going to break down your walls. Um, you know, I feel like they're they're going to get in there, and they're not going to stop till they do because they they see you as they're very attracted to you. They want to be with you. They dream about you. Um, you know, they see a future already with you. And I feel like intuition is going to kick in and tell you that, like, there's a, something strong here that you can't fight anymore. There's a connection that you can't ignore anymore. And the reason that there is a connection is because it's a twin flame. Like, those walls, inside your walls, you already know this. You already feel something for this person, but that's what that's what's worrying you the most because... You, you feel if you let this person in, that you already have a strong connection with this person. So if you let them in, 
they have the ability to hurt you. But I don't feel like that's the case at all here. I feel like I only see positive. I see the Sun card, the, the Hierophant, um, the ten of, ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups. Um, and I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's it would be a shame to let this all pass. Um, I don't... I don't see any any negatives in this person at all. I don't see any um, like I don't I, I don't see anything that could could warn any kind of warning here. I feel like um, yeah. I feel like like I said. I feel like your intuition is gonna kick in. It's gonna tell you exactly what I'm telling you. Um, I feel like you already have or will have pretty strong feelings for this person fairly quickly. Um, and just to clarify that. We got the four wands. Um, so you're looking at a fire sign. I'm, I, 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 you know, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, but yeah. So that, that's my advice. Um, allow this to happen. I don't think that you're going to regret it. I don't see any, any, any negative signs here at all. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't. Um... That's what I got for you, Gemini. Take care, and I'll see you soon.